1951 Lincoln Cosmopolitan four-door sedan. Interesting car when you kind of go around this and start looking at some of the details on it. Uh, first of all, underneath the 337 flathead V8 and a hydromatic automatic transmission, which back then Lincoln actually purchased from GM. One of the interesting things. Take a look at the headlights. Has that recessed headlight. Otherwise, what the uh, old school hot rodders did and was known as Frenched. And then take a look at all this chrome up front, bumper grill, hood ornament, of course. Kind of a medium blue, light slate blue. And then something to mention on this also. This vehicle is going to come with a three month, 500 mile warranty protection plan. That's included in purchase. Maybe extendable out 10 years. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. You can call at 507 386 1726. UniqueClassicCars.com. You can check out still pictures, underside, interior, engine bay, every angle of this car. Kind of see some of the things I'm talking about. Paint on it does show its age a little bit. I don't know if there's any spots I can kind of get to show up right. If I can get it just right, kind of right in the light right there a little bit. It's not that it doesn't have a nice shine to it. There's just spots where there's some imperfections. Kind of shows its age, maybe a little bit of checking. But overall, fun car. Get in and drive it. Have some fun. Technicians did want to mention it is riding on white wall, bias ply tires, um, kingpins. A little loose in it. You got to know what you're doing in some of these older cars with the bias ply tires as far as how they drive. It's not going to be like a modern vehicle with radial tires. But we have had it out on the road, um, frontage roads around our building, and taken it out and driven it. But if you're going to take it a long ways, might want to give it the once over notice car. Just want to pass that along. Look at the taillights. Also recessed in or Frenched in. Kind of interesting look. Take a look at the rear chrome bumper. You just don't see a lot of these out at their roll-ins or cruise-ins or local shows. And remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. And of course, we can assist with transportation. Look at that rear window wiper. You think of that on the modern day SUVs or hatchbacks. And here back in 1951, Lincoln was doing it in the Cosmop Cosmopolitan. Once again, all those still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. So we take a look down the driver's side. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see this. Some of it's really tough to get to kind of show you where there's imperfections, but a little bit of checking there. Um, like I said, it's nothing crazy that stands out a whole lot, but I kind of want to make you aware of it. Maybe a little bit up on the roof line, if you can see that. Fender skirts on the rear here. And then when you think of Lincoln, in 51, they had the suicide door in the rear. Now how long did that carry through for them? It kind of was an option that stuck around a little while. Seating, fabric on the interior, nice shape. And listen, these doors closed. They just don't sound like that on the cars nowadays, do they? Door panels, carpeting and fabric on the seats, really free of rips, tears, holes. Headliner looks good. Very stock looking dash. The style of this car when it was designed um, without the running boards and what have you on it. If you think of the 40s and late 40s, how they had the running boards and the bulbous front fenders and even rear fenders. This is kind of that sleek design. It's known as pontoon design. That's what this car is considered. Now, and did notice it's just a little bit touchy where you have it uh, at the neutral setting. Turn the ignition on, and then here's the starter button. Now, this is a 6-volt system, so it turns over like a 6-volt system, but fires up. Here's the fuel gauge is working. Oil pressure. Assume he's going to slowly come up if I know the oil pressure gauge, those old flatties. Battery and temp. Did have it running a bit ago, but I don't know how accurate that temp is. It's up a little bit. And take a look at this dash. 
Something I thought was cool is look at the knobs. Look how those are designed. Alright. I want to slip around to the back of this so you can hear it run. Bright work and everything on the car as far as bright work and chrome all looks good. And listen to that. Flatty just purr away. Three thirty seven flathead. And then the hood release is actually on the interior of this car. Right here. See if I can get this raise one handed. There it is. Nice clean engine bay, nice and tidy. Nice sounding flathead, single carb. Battery disconnect here, push in that. You'll also be able to see back here, serial number tag, body number tag. Those are in the still pictures also, which can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. 507-386-1726. And remember that three month, 500 mile warranty protection plan that may be extend extendable. Check with your sales consultant. 1951 Lincoln Cosmopolitan. We do consider trades, financing is available. And of course, we assist with transportation. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we have a 1951 Lincoln Cosmopolitan in a beautiful blue color blue and gray interior. Our blinker indicators both function. Our speedometer is functioning. Oil pressure is showing about 30. Fuel is showing over half. Battery is right in the middle of the gauge. Temperature is a little over half of the gauge. are functioning. This car is a smooth ride. I'm getting a little bit of noise actually from the speedometer as it skips. So it, it reads properly at low speeds when you get a little faster. It's slipping a little bit. We have floor vents. We have hydraulic. I believe they're hydraulic powered windows. I let go of the wheel, it drifts a little bit to the right. That could be an underinflated tire. Could be a little bit of the wind that we have today. This car starts and runs really nicely. You hear those old style tires in the corner. It does corner well. Shifts great, it's an automatic on the column. Easy to drive. Very comfortable, lots of space in the interior. You don't see very many of these. Check out this Lincoln at uniqueclassiccars.com.